Mr. President, I doubt that you're listening this morning to a message from a pastor of a church in a small community of Ohio. But if you are, I would like to tell you that I believe there's some points of parallelism and there, are some, there is some meaning to the events that took place a few days ago in the eyes of God and according to the scriptures. First of all, like the servant in the book of Exodus, you've had many opportunities to step away from your burden and to go free, so to speak, and to live a life that is beyond any life that most of us in America could ever understand or imagine. But because of your love, your love for America, your love for your family, your love for your children, and your love, your love for Americans and their children and their families, you have willingly and volitionally, through much heartache, through much pain, through much effort, through much battle, you have made the decision to go on and to serve the people of America by running for president. So you... So like the Hebrew servant, you have been given an opportunity to go free. But you have willingly said, I will not go free. I am going to serve in this position regardless of what it costs me. Secondly, like the master in the account of the scriptures, God Almighty has taken notice of your love and of your choice. And He has chosen to mark your ear for a sign that you are destined for more than just serving the American people as great of an honor as it is as president. You are destined to fulfill a higher purpose and a higher calling. You're destined to accomplish the will of God. And then, and then I, would, I would also say to you, Mr. President, that like the love servant in the Bible who was taken to a public place where this event and this marking took place, the marking of your ear, the boring of your ear, the piercing of your ear took place before millions of witnesses around the world. They saw the moment of the piercing of your ear and no one but God Almighty could have possibly arranged that. No one but God Almighty could have arranged that for all of the places you could have been hit, you were hit in the ear. I do not believe that was ironic. I believe that is the sign of God. I believe that was the hand of God, not only protecting you, but I believe the fact that it was your ear is spiritually significant. It's not an accident that it was your ear that was hit. It is a sign to you from Almighty God. And like the servant, and, and like the servant in the Bible, you are marked in a very visible place. You're marked in a very visible place so that every time anyone who's with you, any heads of state, any individuals who happen to get close enough to be around you, they can clearly see where your ear was pierced. Like the servant in the Bible, wherever the servant went, out in public, every person that encountered the servant knew that they had been marked by their master because of the bored hole in their ear. Every individual that ever encounters you from this point forward, every time they look at you, Mr. President, every time they notice your ear, they're going to remember this event. They're going to remember the miracle. They're going to remember that God protected you and they're going to know you as a marked man that God has his hand on you. And I also believe, if I may say this, that every time, you could have been anywhere in your, bo in your body, but of all places, your ear. 
And anytime you, Mr. President, former Mr. President, as you are in the bathroom getting ready, as you look at yourself in the mirror, anytime you look at yourself in the mirror, you are going to see that ear. And every time you see that ear, it's going to be a reminder to you of God's hand upon you and that God has a, a purpose for you. And it's going to be a reminder that you are standing there because of the hand and the grace of Almighty God and that He chose you. It also should serve as a reminder that as you had no control over that moment, you are not in charge of the future, nor in charge, so to speak, of the future of America. God uses individuals. He works through them. And Mr. President, you have an assignment to be completed. His hand is upon you, but if you will keep your hand in His, you will give Him the glory, and you will give Him the honor, and you will stay humble, and you will work with all of your strength. He will help you perform mighty, mighty wonders, even in the United States of America. One more thing, when you hear people lift you up into a position that is beyond where a man should be lifted, when you hear people idolize you and speak great things about you that you know should go to Almighty God, Mr. Trump, it's up to you to stop that and to say, listen, I appreciate it, but the glory goes to God Almighty. That is in your hand as well. I'm headed to a place where the rivers flow. I'm headed to a place where the streets are gold. Oh, my soul. This I know.